So I bought a brand new 20 year old battery for a ThinkPad R40 we've been test driving these last few weeks. What's the point of being portable if we're tethered to a wall outlet? Unfortunately, this thing arrived dead. Normally, most people would ask for a refund if they got a defective battery, but not this channel. We're gonna open this thing up and interrogate why it shows a clock out. What's wrong, little R40 battery? Who hurt you? So what happened here? Was I hoodwinked? Was I bamboozled? The short answer is no. While it shouldn't have failed so catastrophically, it is old. Depending on your source, lithium-ion batteries last anywhere from 3 to 12 years. And by my calculations, we're just about double that. All right, and now for the disclaimer. This is not a how-to. This is for entertainment purposes only. I am not in the business of handing out Darwin Awards. With all that out of the way, hold my beer. Now, to do this video, I opened up quite a few of these batteries. And through the learning process, broke a couple as well. The aftermarket packs are much easier to open than the OEM brand. The batteries I will be using are the 18650 Samsung 25Rs. The amps and voltage are perfect for this application. After picking up an El Cheapo spot welder, we can now get to work on our 2022 R40 battery. Using the spot welder is pretty straightforward as long as you don't cross the streams. Since these batteries are in such close proximity with each other, let's make sure to cover the terminals with electrical tape to prevent any mishaps. These tabs I'm installing are the solder points to interface with the battery's PCB. After getting all these batteries patched up, we're ready to interface with the PCB. There's only one small problem though. The tabs don't line up. Being that it was at the end of the day, and I'm known for my impatience. What. The. F now, I know what you're thinking. Well, maybe several things. Like, why were you allowed a soldering iron? Why does this video exist? So buckle up and see why lithium ion batteries come with warning labels. So, um, ah, it's fine. A little bit of electrical smoke never hurt anybody. Let's play a little doctor while everything is going so well. Okay, so after performing an exorcism on this possessed lump of fail, we had a little chat, and I gave it a new chance in life. After testing the terminals, it's time to button this baby up. I bet you thought I would use duct tape, didn't you? I'm not a monster. Feeling proud of my taped up lithium detonator, let's see why property insurance is so high and feed this beast. Whoa, that's surprising. I don't know about you, but my money was on a torched house with one less YouTuber running around. With the soldering skills of a three-year-old, we can conquer anything. While electrical tape is a fitting look for this project, we should probably fasten it a little bit better. Since we still don't have a brand new battery to benchmark against, let's try our luck again and pick up another one. Wow, it comes with an instruction manual? How many pages does this thing actually need? And finally, the moment we have all been waiting for. Will this kludge of redneck enhanced electrons beat out a brand new 20 year old battery? To find out, I'll play Master of Orion in DOSBox until the unit taps out. The first will be the refurb unit. And the refurb unit scored three hours and 46 minutes. Now let's move on to our unused battery from 2003. While the green LED indicated that the battery had a full charge, something unexpected happened. Wait, 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 wait. What, you're telling me that the battery that just came bundled with a thesis tapped out in just 12 seconds? Let's go nerd and see what the software has to say about this. And sure enough, its first use was stamped this month. This battery can't hold a charge beyond 
and even when it's left to fend for itself, it drops to zero immediately. This wasn't even a competition. Score one for a refurbished battery. Flawless victory. And that about wraps it up for this video. It's unsurprising that this 20 year old battery lost out. It's just that I didn't expect it to give up so quickly. If you like this video, or if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. And as always, I'll see you next time. This one did not want to come apart.